Now they are done. And this is how they look. Look at that. First time making these. First time. So if I can make them, you definitely can make them. Look at that. No cracks off in there. They're very perfect. Got a little juice coming out of this one. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so Katrina gonna try one on camera for y'all. We're gonna zoom in so we can see her face. Oh, I didn't break. Yay! Yay, look at that. Look at that. That is so beautiful. How it tastes, Trina? Tastes good. Tastes good. Yay! Tastes like something I should not be eating at night. <laughs> yeah. Getting ready to go to school, too. Yeah, gotta get ready to go to bed. So, if y'all like this video, please give us a... Mm -hmm. And subscribe at the bottom. Bye, y'all. Hi YouTube family and friends. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to make chocolate covered strawberries. Um, I already washed my strawberries. I'm just drying them now because they has to be dry. They cannot be wet or the chocolate is not going to stick on it. So that's what I'm basically doing now. And I don't washed every last one of them. And I'm just taking a paper towel and just cleaning around them and raising up the leaf to pat it dry okay I'm gonna be using this kind of chocolate it's almond bars flavor oh you're getting the ones that I need to draw it's basically it's almond bars um flavor I already got two plates um, put on four. If you don't got parchment uh, paper, just use four. It'll work just just the same. It just needs to dry on there. And then um, I got my boiling water, which I'm not going to be using that much water, but my son just put out that water for now. I'm going to take some of that water out. And I got 21. I got 21 um, strawberries. And I got the, I took, I bought two containers so I can get the decent ones, the big ones out. This one. So, um, I bought two containers and I just took all the ones that was huge out, that was a little bit big. So, you want to make sure you wash your strawberries off, that's the first thing. And then you want to make sure you have boiling water. And you want to make sure you have a bowl. Um, you don't want to use a wooden spoon. Because the wooden spoon can hold more stuff in there and then it can make it uh, wet. Make the, uh, you want to make sure you want to keep as much moisture out of your chocolate than you possibly can. So I'm using a spatula, plastic spatula. You want to make sure your bowl don't get wet. And then even when you do take it out of the water, you need to make sure you dry it off at the bottom. So, to get started, I need some vegetable oil. And the vegetable oil is to get that nice shiny coat. And that nice shiny coat on there. So, I'm going to use vegetable oil to get the nice shiny coat. And then my chocolate. And you basically, this is a huge chocolate. Look at that chocolate. That's pretty big. Can you just eat that? Uh, yeah, it's chocolate. Cool. But why would... I'm going to try to cut it some. Well, it looks like it'll melt easy. So, I'm just throwing some bars off in there. About four bars. See how big those things are? About five bars. I'm going to throw about five bars. They're up huge. There. To make sure I got enough. For, you think about four or five? About five? Because once it melts, it's going to shrink. So I'm just going to spray my vegetable cooking oil off in there. Chocolate tastes good.
I'm just putting it on top of there. Make sure it's getting good moisture. Good amount on there. And I'm just going to pour some of my water out. I told my son not that much water, but... You want to make sure it's not touching. Make sure it's not touching the bottom of the bowl. I'm going to change bowls. Put it off in this one because this one is going to get better. So I just changed bowls because this one's going to be a lot better. I'm just going to set the chocolate on top of it. And I'm going to lightly stir. I'm going to turn this fire down because this is way too much fire. That's getting way too much moisture in it. I'm going to take this off and just start trying to stir it. It melts pretty fast. I'm going to need something. I'm going to need a plastic glove. This is hot and I'm playing with fire, so <laughs> I want to make sure my hands is very protected. And just kind of stir it. This chocolate melts very fast. Like when I say fast, I mean fast. Come over here so they can see it. Look at that. That's some good melting. And I'm just mixing it. I might have melt too much chocolate. But that's okay. And you want to make sure you're fire and you're watching this because your chocolate will burn. And then it won't look pretty. Look at how beautiful that chocolate is. Can you taste the chocolate, Trina? No, you gotta be closer. I can dip my finger in it. Mm, you don't want to dip your hand off of no hot ass chocolate. S worth the try. <laughs> It's melting pretty good, so this is my first time making this. I ain't never made chocolate um, covered strawberry. This is like my first time, and I'm making it so y'all can see me make it, and then y'all can make it yourself for Valentine's Day. Me, I don't care what holiday. If I want some strawberry chocolate, I can make it myself because I don't like buying them because they're so expensive. We're not going to learn how to make it myself. My chocolate is almost completely melted. I'm going to need something to wipe this heat off of this boat. Pop it. Yes. So my chocolate is ready and I'm going to move it over. And I'm going to wipe my bowl down. Be very careful because this is hot. And you just want to wipe it all the way around to make sure it ain't got no moisture. So you, Because you don't want no chunks. Okay, so I'm going to take my spoon out. Give it a swirl. Look at that beautiful chocolate going on. And then I'm going to put my spoon over there. And this is where the foam part comes in. 
So I'm just gonna take the lead. Some part is eating. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take the lead, and I'm gonna take it, and then I'm gonna swirl it around. Make sure you get off in there, and then I'm gonna just take it and stick it on the plate. Oh, I guess I was being extra. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. You're being extra. And you're going to do this to all of them. But you got to work kind of fast because the chocolate does kind of, you know, start getting hard. So you want to work as fast as you possibly can. And then you want to let it cool for 15 minutes, room temperature. And then stick it off in the refrigerator for uh, like 10, 15 more minutes. And then you can enjoy your nice chocolate. You can stick it off in the freezer. But I'm just going to stick it off in the refrigerator. There ain't no sense of just sticking it off in the freezer. Then why are you going to eat it right after? <laughs> And I'm just taking them and I'm just dipping them around. Look at that beautiful design. And this is going to be something that you can make for your spouse. Make as a um, gift for someone. Um, birthday gift. I don't know. Whatever you're feeling that you want to do, you can do it. So I'm going to stick one right here, and then come and stick one on the other side. Tell me that's not a good design. That's a freaking awesome design right there. I'm going to stick this one over here because that one's too big to stick on there. Well, I guess I got it right the first time with just doing five, four bars. Did I do five or four? Five. I did five bars, so... Look at that, that's uh, just so beautiful. And then if your chocolate start, you know, hardening up on you, you just stick it back on the stove and just do it again. The same thing. Look at that pretty shine that it has. That's from the, um, The pretty shine that it has is from the uh, vegetable oil. The vegetable oil, it gives a pretty shine. I even have some chocolate there. And then you can decorate it like if you want to decorate it with some nuts. Um, <laughs> You know, some garnishes you can, but I'm not, not tonight. I'll come back and make a video on it next time. Show you how to do that. <laughs> and there we go. Voila, this is how it's going to look after you finish with it. Your chocolate covered strawberries. And if you see it, you can already see some already drying. They kind of look like ice cream to me. You can already see some drying. I'm just going to put them back over here. See, like this already starting to cool down. It's not even hot no more. I'm just going to let these sit out for... 15 minutes, and then I'll come back and sh after I pop them off in the refrigerator, I'll come back and end the video. Bye.